Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. The topic for this video is going to go in-depth into entering and removing commands. After this video, you will be more familiar with issuing commands, viewing them in the firewall's running configuration using the CLI, and removing commands. This video is primarily targeted for someone who has never configured anything on a Cisco ASA firewall using the command line interface before. Let's begin. I'm really excited that you're here today to learn Cisco CLI with me. I first want to start off by saying that the Cisco CLI is really cool. You're going to love it. It's made extremely well. And I'll start trying to show you as many different scenarios where the CLI really offers more than the ASDM GUI can, especially in troubleshooting scenarios. And throughout this firewall series, I'm really going to try to show you as many examples as I can to support that. Cisco CLI is really nice. Once you get used to it and working with it, you're going to love it. And you'll never go back to ASDM, I can assure you of that. So let's say you want to add a feature or update a component of your firewall's running configuration, but you want to do it through command line. It's really simple. All you need to do is go into global configuration mode, and let's say you wanted to add an access list. So I wrote out the syntax for the access list, and what I'm doing is I'm permitting, I'll, I'll make a video on access lists here in the future. Let's just say, the moment I press enter though, I'm going to add that, and that syntax is going to be added to my device's running configuration. Here you can see the command that I just added. And that's permitting the source host of 1.1.1.1 connecting to a destination host of 2.2.2.2 over SSH. Let's say I made a typo though and I wanted to remove that. It's as, si it's as simple as this. Conf T, put a no in front of the command. And now that command's removed. See that it's no longer there? It was below this line right here. What I really love about this is that syntax that you add as a command to enable something or update your running config, that syntax is going to be added to the running configuration. So it's really simple to remove it because all you need to do is look at the running config, see what you want to remove, and then put a no in front of it, and then it'll delete it from the running config. Here's an example. Let's say you wanted to add an object group. And you wanted that object group to be called Trevor. But let's say you had a typo and you forgot a letter. Well, all you need to do is put a no in front of it, and it'll delete it from the running config. Let's go in the scenario where there's something that's existing already. Let's say you were looking at your access list, and you notice that, oh no, I'm opening up SSH to my server at 1.1.1.1, and the source is any. I don't want that in there, that's really bad. I, w I don't want to get SSH brute force, so all you need to do is go into conf t, issue no, and then that command, and you simply, it's as easy as that, you just removed it from the running configuration. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments section below in this video. Thanks for watching.